Okay, we've just come out of the Alain Arena. It was Tottenham 2, AC Milan nil. I've got Julian with me here. He's bedecked in Spurs memorabilia and Spurs merchandise. Clearly a good fan. Uh, Julian, uh, what did you make of the game overall, would you say? Obviously, tonight's match was, in, 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 you know, obviously in terms of a, a, a Spurs supporter, is it much better than last night's? You know, more imaginative. You know, obviously Harry Kane didn't play, so obviously we had to open up a bit, a bit wider and obviously more attacking. Yeah, and uh, I have to say I was very impressed by Nasser Chadley, who, who was playing up front at times. Um, would you be happy with him playing up front for the next couple of weeks if we don't bring someone in until deadline day? No, absolutely. Nasser Chadley is a very, very good player. And obviously he shines like he did tonight with obviously a different, you know, different formation. OK, and, uh, you know, we had those players playing today, kind of small little diminutive players, Tom Carroll, Harry Winks, etc. How long do you think it could be before uh, they start really pushing for first team plays? I think, obviously, you know, as the season progresses, you know, all these players are very, very good young talent. Mm -hmm. They've got the opportunity to shine now. And, you know, uh, yeah, Har Harry Winks, yeah, yeah. Very, and, very good players. And uh, if you were going to predict how our season was going to go, Julian, this time, uh, you know, give us a number, give us a number. Oh, I'll give you a number. I've been a Spurs fan 38 years. Um, top six, top six. Top six. Okay, well, you've, you've been, that's a good point. You've been a Spurs fan for 38 years. Uh, you know, how does this team or, the, you know, the, um, the talent in this team in, in terms of looking forward to the future, how does that compare to some of the teams you've seen down the years? Compared to a lot of the teams I've seen, we, uh, we, we know, obviously we need to strengthen more, need to, yeah, we need to not sell our best players, you know, which we've, we've, we've done in the past. You know, Gareth Bowe last night, prime example, yeah. you know, one of our top players. We get rid of our players. Yeah, we need to right. keep hold of them to, to build in the future. Totally agree. I think Levy's got his plan, though. So um, just one more question before I go, Julian. Uh, you know, if any of those players, you know, are there any of those players who are left, you know, after we got rid of a lot of that Deadwood? Uh, are there any more that you think need to be shown the exit door? Or are you pretty much happy with how the squad looks right now? There's still a few players that need to be shown the exit door. You know, that we signed. Go on, name one. Oh, put me on the spot. Lamella. Yeah. You know, no offence. You know, it, He's, he's got talent, but is he a Premiership? Yeah. Has he got the, uh, the, the, the has got the will and the want to play for in the Premiership? Probably no. Okay. no. Guys, let us know if you if you uh, agree with Julian about Lamella being shown the exit door in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Thanks a lot, Julian. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are outside the Allianz Arena, and we are officially the third best team in the Audi Cup 2015. Tottenham Hotspur two. AC Milan nil, 